What is up guys, Suspense here, and welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a pretty straightforward video. I have two boxes here. One of them is from StockX, and one of them is an order from Kith that I placed yesterday. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little unboxing video for you guys today. One of these shoes will definitely be getting a review, but I don't know if I'm really that interested in the one that I ordered from Kith. But I guess when we open this up, I'll find out. Let's jump into the top-down cam and get a better look. Let's go ahead and hop into this one that I ordered from Kith. I literally ordered these yesterday, and today is a Saturday. I don't know how or why they're here probably because they're based in new york uh, i'm not really too excited about these i don't know this day and age in shoes i just kind of kind of order what you can get so these will either be sold or traded or find their way somewhere and i don't know if i'm going to do my own video on this i wasn't expecting to see a piece of cardboard in there packing slip here i paid 233 dollars and 98 cents for these which is a lot there you go there, there's the box for the shoe box he's out here just Get rid of that, get rid of that. There is a Yeezy 450. Bottom right is a little dented. This is my first pair of 450s retail or replica. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. That's kind of why I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on these or not. But this is the Cinder colorway. I don't even know if this is a restock or a release. I, I literally have no idea. I saw this pop up on Discord when it was open and I literally just checked out through the link. So got this cardboard sticker here made in Germany. I thought they were gonna be a little darker than this. I owned the Cinder 350s and they were darker than that. Nothing in the bottom of the box, no sticker or anything. Same Yeezy paper though. I thought these were gonna be darker. Very, very interesting. <laughs> what do I even say? What, what do I say about this? So we can take a look at the tags here. Got a Yeezy 450 originals and this cardboard tag. I'm actually surprised. This is connected with a plastic loop and this is a new release made with recycled materials and it's still using the plastic loop when they're using twine and everything else. Languages there. Standard Yeezy DS lacing, no Infinity style lacing. Infinity style, yes, but no actual Infinity laces. This material, whatever it is, I think it's like a, is this the algae shoe? Oh no, I think that's the foam runners. Or maybe this is the same material, I have no idea. It's pretty firm, it's got some give. There's no inserts or anything, like no shoe trees in here. So it's very, very flat. I imagine it'll just look like your foot. I don't know if my feet are fitting in here. I thought these had a, like a hit on the back too, like a brown hit. Am I thinking the wrong colorway? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was just like the black colorway and this is, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. First impressions, I guess, is really all I'm doing here. This feels like a nice rubberized material on the bottom. The outsole, got the Adidas logo there. I mean, I'm not blown away by them. They're kind of just weird. I don't really know what to think. I wish this collar here had more shape to it so it would stick up like that and keep its shape. Yeah, super weird shoe. These have an insole. Yeah, they do have an insole. It's like a 700 insole. Ortholite, the Adidas brand on the back, but it's a very squishy Ortholite. This is a good no, actually, good to note for me at least. This is the first time that the sizing on the insole has been wrong on a retail pair that I've seen. So far, Nike is 100%, but now I'm not gonna use this for Yeezys. Nine and a half to 10 and a half. This is an 11. I'm not gonna rely on that being constant anymore. Also, the size tag is on the insole, very weird. It has a different font as well from all other Yeezys that I can remember. Like the 11, the top left looks bigger. What the hell is this footbed? There's markings on this footbed that say it's a 10 and a half. There's the 10 slash and silver and then in black right there it says 10.5 so this is a size 11 the insole besides the size tag and the footbed all say that this is a 10 and a half so what they just sell 10 and a halfs in the 10 and a half and 11 box i don't understand that i don't know i'm not going to do a review on these probably they're just kind of weird and what, what am i going to talk about it's a gray knit upper here's the medial side here's the lateral side here's the outsole it's all gray i mean i already showed you everything on the inside that's literally what the review would be here's the back tub <laughs> here's the branded vamp back in the box and now the shoe that i have been waiting for i have a replica here as well to reference do my own little legit check on so this pair came about because i just randomly had the highest offer on StockX, and someone accepted it i think i paid 455 for these it's a nice bubble wrap there packing slip here jesus they gave me the whole thing there you go there's all the information i paid 455 for them before fees after fees there's like 528 and some change standard rainbow sb box i don't know what these two qr codes things are. Let me scan those. There's one on the front side as well. Is StockX doing stuff like that now? This one wants me to call a phone number, so I don't think that's StockX. And this one just wants me to open Safari, so probably not. The box label. I think this is just a skate shop. Oh, everything looking good there. 
Bang. The Para Abstract Art. This has a date code stamp. This is definitely getting its own full review. I'm gonna keep the first impressions very short here of this unboxing. Midsole here is very glossy. Does that fool you? This top one here is a replica. That is the retail. Ooh, this is more wrinkled and a lot softer than the replica. Very, very smooth. This is your I paid too much money tag. Beautiful gum outsole. I mean, would you be able to tell by a quick glance? Someone's walking past you? I don't think so. Really like this small swoosh. Really clean design. I love the shoe in general, actually. Big fan of the crazy looking colors. That's one thing too. I want to compare the colors. Colors are a little more dull here on the replica. Not too bad. Got a little bit of a weird thing going on with the material back here. Very distressed looking, like it was sanded down almost. It's a very weird feeling Nubuck too. Like this feels like Nubuck, but this feels very strange. Very crinkly soft. How about extra laces on this? We do have extra laces here, the proper way, attached through the lace itself. Oh, these green laces have the par branding in white actually on the aglets. I don't think the replica had that. Let me check. The replica laces color looks identical almost. The retail has like a smoother finish to it, but yeah, nothing. No branding on the aglets. It's pretty good for legit checking, but that's not what this video is about. That video is already on the Batch Floss channel. So yeah, super happy with these. I'm glad that this isn't like the mochas that I got where I had the highest bid and and it got accepted and the shoes were kind of garbage. Like they had a lot of sloppy paint and the leather was weirdly tumbled. Here's a good look at the replica here, retail over here. Let me just cover some of the things that I covered in that video. Now very quickly, the toe box looks a little bigger on the replica. This seems a little longer. The main thing that I pointed out was this tongue tag. Yeah, and that is, it is accurate. The tongue tag on the replica is way too big. Above Nike, all of the retail pairs I've seen look exactly like this. So confident that this is probably real. Now the retail is on the now the retails on the left now the retails on the left now the retails on the left holy fuck. stop barking now the retails on the left now the retail is on the left. So look how much bolder the branding is here on the right. My dogs are barking. They will not stop barking. So I'm just talking through it. The replica here is a lot bolder, especially if you look at the SB, very noticeable. I am happy with this purchase. Glad to add it to my collection. One of my favorite dunks that once they released kind of made no more noise. In my opinion, they just kind of released and then people moved on. The resale price is still a little bit up there, obviously 455 bucks, but very happy to add this to my collection. I will probably see if I can trade this on trade block, but I don't mind hanging on to these. They're, they're beautiful. Beautiful. Clearly they're not irreplaceable because here's this replica and it looks pretty much the exact same. So, but I'm very pleased with this pair. Thank you guys so much for watching this two pair unboxing video. Very excited about owning these par dunks. Not so thrilled about owning these 450s, but the way the sneaker game is now, I'll take what I can get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Maybe consider checking out a video that YouTube recommends you here. And that'll do it for me today, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.